What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I am going to be showing you my everyday 10 minute makeup routine. It's going to be super easy and super quick so let's just go ahead and get started. Alright you guys so when I start out with my 10 minute makeup routine first I like to start off with the skin because I think that that's the most important part. So today I'm just going to be going in with the hydrating camo concealer from e.l.f. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in any areas that I feel like I need a little help in or maybe I have redness or acne. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to those areas. So like right here, under the eyes to look more awake. And this is a very full coverage concealer so I find I don't need a ton. And um, I know typically concealers are supposed to be brightening. But I recommend finding one that's as close to your skin tone as you can find. Just because it's going to look better. And then I have some scarring down here. I know it kind of seems like I'm putting it in a lot of places. But it's just going to help balance everything out and make everything look a little bit better. And I think it's better than using a foundation. So I'm just gonna blend this on out. Alright guys, so everything is blended out and now I know it kind of looks like we applied a foundation but um, I feel like it just is a lot easier than using a foundation and then concealer. And we already look a lot better and just more awake in general. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. To do this, I'm going to be using the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. And this is, um, this is transparent, so it's not going to alter the color of your skin. And this powder is really great because it's going to make your makeup last a long time on your skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of pack this in my T-zone. That's where I'm most going to concentrate it just because I do tend to get more oily there. And then also under the eyes so we don't get a whole lot of creasing. And then just kind of stamp it into the rest of my face. Alright, next is time to go in with the brows, and I think brows are super important because they just frame your entire face. So I'm just going to be going in with the um, e.l.f. Pre Ultra Precise Brow Pencil just to kind of fill them in a little bit. I wouldn't recommend using a pencil and then a pomade just because that's an extra step that I don't really think is necessary just for an everyday look if you're trying to be quick and go out the door. So I just lightly fill them in. I don't like overly outline them or anything like I usually do. Just kind of lightly fill them in. Just to give them a better overall look and just kind of shape them a little bit. My brows have gotten fuller over the years, so I feel like I don't need a whole whole lot on them anymore just to make them look um, presentable for an everyday basis and then you can go ahead and blend that on out it's a very quick and it's not very like precise brow routine but I do like it for an everyday type of thing and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the ColourPop boss gel um, this is just a brow setter um, this one I think this one's in the shade light brown, so it's a little bit dark for me, but I kind of just like wipe off the excess on here and then lightly fill, well, it's kind of like you're filling them in, but you're setting them. So I set the ends first and then I'll work my way to the front just so that the darkest part's on my tail. And then I'll do the same thing on the side. All right, and then those are the everyday brows. They look very just natural and not super filled in or anything. Again, very quick and easy 
this is very different from what I normally do on a day where I have a bit more time. I carve them out and take my time with them to make them look very um, precise, but I feel like this is a good for everyday basis. All right, next is the eyes. We're not gonna do a whole lot just because we don't have a whole lot of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes with my eyelash curler and then go in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is my favorite, favorite mascara. It just holds the lashes very nicely and gives them a really great um, shape. So I'm just gonna do this very quick. And I usually do about two coats. I know it doesn't look very dramatic and my natural lashes aren't super amazing or anything, but I feel like it just makes you look more awake and just opens up your eyes a little bit and it doesn't take that much time. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, go in with a um, an eyeliner. Like I would recommend like a white or maybe like a champagne color like this LA Girl one. Um, and you can just kind of apply that in your waterline. It'll just open up your eyes a little bit more and make you look more awake. Again, it's not like a super major difference. It'd be more wowing if you had maybe like a white eyeliner or, but a nude or a champagne isn't gonna be too different from your natural like color of your um, waterline. So, but it does, I feel like make a little bit of a difference if you're wanting to look more awake. All right, you guys. And one thing that I cannot skip in my makeup routine is blush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of this e.l.f. blush. And this one's in the shade Always Rosy and i just love blush i cannot go without it and i'm naturally like a rosy red person so i feel like when i apply the concealer it just makes me look just like all one color and i don't like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit not overdo it but just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural and like my normal skin color so i just kind of apply this all over I know some people don't like that, but I feel like it just looks so natural. And I'm not gonna go in with any um, bronzer or highlight today, just because I wanna keep it very natural and very light and very easy. Not that many products at all. Just very simple and minimal products. All right, you guys, and then the final step is to get some type of lippy on. So typically for an everyday basis, I just kind of stick with a lip gloss just because I can reapply it easily throughout the day and I don't have to really worry about it like fading ugly or anything. So I'm gonna recommend two for you guys. I would highly recommend the NYX Butter Glosses. These are very nice and they have very nice colors in them. And then for my favorite clear gloss, this is gonna be the Essence Shine 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 Wet Lip, Lip, Wet Lip, Lip Gloss. This one is very nice too, if you just want like a clear gloss. I mean, this is a really nice topper one too. Um, today, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the clear gloss because I don't mind the natural color of my lips. But um, if you guys wanted a little bit of color, I would go in with the NYX Butter Glosses. This just gives such a wet look to your lips and I love it. Especially just for an everyday look like you're running errands or something, this is so easy and you don't have to be super precise with it so you can just literally throw it on and walk out the door. All right, and then the final step is setting spray. So I'm just gonna be using this matte finish Catrice Prime and Fine setting spray. I don't like to apply a lot of this because I find that it kind of like burns my skin if I apply it too much because it's too drying. But I will apply a little bit and then that's all the setting spray I'll do. Alright you guys, that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday makeup routine. It's super simple and super minimalistic, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below and let me know what makeup product you guys cannot live without. Mine is blush and probably mascara. Um, yeah, those are my two 
faves and I cannot do a makeup without those. So let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Remember to like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in a few days in my next one. Bye.